so cute and so mean. Guys, look, I ordered a tall drink in a venti cup, and look how full it is. Like, do you just get more just for asking for a venti cup? Holy cow. Okay, so I did the tanning thing. I love this Walmart dress. Um, and I got my hair done today, but I gotta go home and crimp my roots because she doesn't have one of my crimpers and we need to get her one because she definitely needs it. And then I was like, should I just pay you to dye my hair? And she was like, girl, no. And I, I love that because she's being honest. She's like, you do it by yourself all the time and it's just plain black. So I'm gonna dye my roots myself. But I did cut off a little bit of my hair, not as much. She talked me out of it. I wanted to cut off like six inches and she was like, mm, you don't really wanna do that. So I just cut it to like right there. So I cut off like four inches. Anyways, I am going to go home and hopefully see if my little boy wants to go to dinner because he had a very exciting day today. He took his ACT again. He's trying to get like a perfect score. So he was like, mom, I felt really good about it today. I was so excited. He's such a cute kid. But he said he did feel really good and he said he finished all the questions and he finished the math section with time to spare. He said he did the practice test with his tutor the day before and he didn't get anything wrong in the science. So I don't know if you know, and I don't know if they had this when I was a kid because I didn't take the ACTs, but you can um, take the best of your, like you can take the best score that you scored of the four sections. And also why do they include the STEM section score uh, if there is no... Like, if that's not a score that they wait, I don't understand that. But anyways, he did really well in that section. But anyways, so um, you can, I know what it's called too, and like my mind just went blank. Basically, you can take the test however many times, and you can take your best scores and group them together, like your best four. So, math, science, I think English, and reading. And then there's also a STEM section. So, we're going to see. God, I will die if he can. I'm so excited. Anyways, we have 10 days and we'll know what he got. So, fingers crossed. Also, for the schools that uh, already will allow you admittance or they will offer merit money, like we know that Ole Miss, Alabama, Arkansas, Tech, or any school in Texas pretty much except for A&M and UT um, will give you merit money or automatic acceptance for his test grade, for his test scores. There's also a program if you're a private school student in Texas and either in the top 10% or have a certain GPA and a certain test score will get you automatic admittance. So I'm not worried about admittance as much as I'm worried about scholarship money. So hopefully he gets uh, very close to, I mean, honestly, I don't know. We'll see what happens. He did really well the first time, so I can't imagine this being not as good, but we'll see. He doesn't want to go to any of the schools that will give him money so far. He wants to go to a and I think. Oh, and the other thing. He used a tutor that's local to here in Flower Mound. And she um, is wonderful. Her name's Brandy. She, I mean, she's phenomenal. Like, he, will, he tells me every time, like, Mom, she's so good. And he said that he took the science portion with her Thursday. And he did not get any of them wrong. No, no, maybe he took it yesterday. What day is today? Saturday? Yeah, he took it yesterday. Uh, the practice test with her and he didn't get any of the science questions wrong at all and I think he said I need to ask him if he got any of the math ones wrong but he just said that she's like super valuable so if you're local to this area and you need a tutor for your kid for ACTs I would absolutely use her she's $75 an hour we do two hour sessions and she is worth her weight in gold and do it right before the test so they retain all the tips and tricks that she teaches them and then they can use it on their test but message me and I'll give you her info so I asked him as I just posted so the biggest like reward we could get in all this I mean god if he could get scholarships to get into the school that he wanted to that would be such a blessing but don't get it twisted I'm still fighting back and I'm still going to try to get my money back from everybody and I was thinking about it yesterday because somebody with an attorney was asking me is there any bread in the basket to even get back and I was like well there's 200000 from one person and then there's 600000 from Ben plus all the attorney fees that I had to pay Ben back for plus all the attorney fees that I would have never had to spend had my business attorney or divorce attorney done the right thing and then all the attorney fees that I had to pay from anybody else's side too. So I feel like that added up to quickly over a million dollars. So wouldn't it be nice? So we'll see. 
Hey everyone, it's Dave Bondi with an update. This is a new picture of President Trump right here at his rally. You can see he was able to stand up. Here with President Biden, or excuse me, President Trump. No, I said if we were in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. You know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of... Oh, my belly is so full. Also, Olive Garden makes you feel like crap after you eat it. Also, today's just a sad day for everyone, no matter what side of the fence you're on. We don't need to argue over it, though, or be mean to people, especially Meg. That's my best friend. Don't be mean. Um, I let her say what she wants to say, but I won't tolerate messages like karma. Like, that's just dumb to say. Also, it came from someone who has not responded or not said a single thing to me in my DMs in four years. And I've had a lot of shit happen in the last four years, so it's always really telling. Like, I think so many of you do message me that when somebody posts something that's not kind and... It's from someone who has not said a single word to me in my DMs and did prior to that since 2020. Hmm. Hey, here's a serious question. I got the Jill face razor set. First of all, I got my lip, my chin, and my eyebrows waxed today. Feels like a baby's butt, but also hurts so bad. Um, anyways, I bought the Jill razor thing. In, make sure you can't see my boobs under my finger uh in the videos though they like spray something on their face i got the little cylinder tube it had the razors in it it had the little handle razor in it and it had these little wipies but like where's the oh, damn cat where's the um spray stuff like did i do something wrong when i ordered it I, did y'all order it and did you have to order the spray stuff separately i thought that like the spray stuff would come with it i want the spray stuff that you spray on your face and it finds your come on sis that you spray on your face and it finds all the hair so you can shave it all off because now I'm like, I want the rest of my face to feel like my chin. For months and months and months, I've been gaslighting my girlfriend. I even brought her up 3,000 feet up that. in the air. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> Who cut my back? There are currently three economic classes in this country. There's people who went to the Eras Tour last summer. There are also people who couldn't afford the era store last summer who watched it on disney plus some small updates to make this even better so let's make this sourdough discard garlic pull apart bread the full recipe is on my blog but basically this is a put all the stuff in a pot kind of recipe not a lot of magic here you've got your sourdough discard your rosemary your parsley your garlic your salt you guys i'm not doing anything i'm supposed to be doing like nothing zero percent like no my list is like a thousand miles long and I'm doing negative percent of it. I don't feel like that's going to change either. <laughs> I can't find the remote so I can't watch TV. So I'm like just in my DMs and like searching Instagram. What are y'all doing? What day is it? Saturday? Oh, church is tomorrow. Better take a picture or they're going to think I didn't go. Like, why can't we just have a whole day where, like, I get to just respond? You know, like, people read their mean tweets. Also, I feel really pretty. It's probably because of the filter, but definitely my hair. Fresh cut. She just saw my hair girl's face when I told her I want to cut six inches off my extension. She was like, what? No. <laughs> okay, here's the list of all the things I could be doing. I could be looking for the remote. I could be making ice cream. I could be shaving my face, which I still might do. Because somebody told me that you can just wipe all the... God, my hair feels so good. Somebody told me you can just wipe all the um, the little oil thing all over your face. And that's like as good as using the spray stuff. What else could I be doing? I could be finding my keys so I could go check my mail. My cat doesn't want anything. She has food and water. I'm not sure why. She constantly just cries like that. Um, I could be cleaning up my house. I could be doing stuff for my case. But that's literally the last fucking thing I want to do. I've done enough of that this week. Um, what else can we do? I'm cleaning up my back patio. It's easy for me to come up with a list of all the things I could be doing, but there's none I want to do. I want to make cookies, but I don't want to do cookie dough. 
I want to make sourdough, but I know I don't have the the wherewithal, the knowledge, the patience, the skill, any of that. So I really just want somebody else to make me some sourdough.